So, you know, growing up, you had to do a lot of things on your own and, you know, you know, certain people snap back into reality and they kind of realize, you know, dang, I just did this or dang, I got to do certain things and I have to act a certain way. What age was it when you you realized, okay, from now on, I got to move like this or I got to move like that? Like, what age, you know, where you when you realize, okay, I got to move a certain way? After my head got shot the first motherfucking time. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Like, cause I ain't gonna lie, look, like, I was thugging and doing shit, alright? So, it's a difference. Like, anybody that really, when you thug for real, you really know, like, you thugging, but you ain't had, like, like, it's a difference with, like, you, you hit a lick on somebody or something, and, like, you meet up, you walk with your homies, and you get into a fight, you gonna scuffle, you, like, you gonna scuffle with niggas, but, and it wasn't, like, I ain't never dealt with nobody, like, doing, like, causing harm to a nigga, you feel me? So, when I got shot the first time in my leg and shit with my partner Caleb and shit, bro, that shit kind of like, <laughs> like I was sitting there, bro, and the motherfucker said, it's a clean uh, exit wound, in and out. All I heard her say was I was going to go home that night. As soon as she said that shit, like, I don't know, it was like so much fucking rage and so like yeah, everything just started turning red, like, and then that's when I knew, like, <laughs> Fuck, fuck this poor shit, fuck that hoop and shit. Cause I literally got shot two weeks after I didn't make the basketball team. And I didn't make the basketball team cause cuz was a dick riding ass nigga. Like I didn't really fuck with him. I had a bad coach and I was definitely not coachable to that nigga. Wow, that's crazy. So dang, since you said that, I gotta ask this follow up question. So have you made the team? Do you think that same situation would have occurred to you? Or uh, you no. think? Fuck no, to my partner that I was like smoking and, and, and all the shit I was doing the shit with. I had some real ass on me. That's why I said I want to shout out Caleb. I want to shout out Will. Uh, I want to shout out Caleb Mama, Caleb Grandma. I want to shout out Gigi that used to always let me sleep on her floor because I stayed on the east side and went to school on the west. So when it get real late at night, it get real treacherous outside. She didn't want me to go home. She, uh, she used to give me clothes from Ross and shit, and I used to sleep on the floor. Like, it was a certain shit to where they knew, like, they believed in me hooping. So, no, nah, I wouldn't have been in none of that shit because my partners already told me, like, bro, you get on the team, bro. Like, yo, I ain't going to straighten up. Like, niggas already saying they didn't want to smoke with me. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, man. So, you know, since you did a lot of hooping and, you know, a lot of dunking on... You know, a lot of dunking on motherfuckers, you know. Speaking, you know. Speaking, like, <laughs> you give them too much sneak peek. Niggas be thinking my ass is short and I can't. Yeah, you, you know, know I, I, I done seen you dunk on motherfuckers in person. Like, been, <laughs> since, since I was in the fourth grade, so you know, like, you get bad on, on the gridiron, you get bad on the hardwood, you get bad anywhere. <laughs> so, you get real lonely on that island by yourself.